amazing this is. It's been so awesome. Just covering ground, seeing new country, and just seeing if we can find an elk somewhere that we've never been before. This is cool. Not bad of a shot. <laughs> I always worry about my shot until I see it. And then I'm like, oh yes. That elk went 70 yards downhill and was piled up right here in what seconds. Here in Alberta, you never know what you're gonna get. And I come up here, I get several species of tags, and we just hit the bush, start hunting, and this Whole hunt started out on day one with the mule deer. Then it got rainy and nasty and windy and we just went still hunting and ended up getting a bull moose. Still had my elk tag and at this point we've done probably 80 miles in the boat, over 100 miles on foot. Here it is the very last day of the hunt and what an awesome bull. I'm pretty sure we encountered this bull on day three and it's just been super tough. Nothing's been responding, nothing's been talking. We can see elk, but it's kind of like turkeys. If they're not talking to you, you assume that there's just no elk around. And we've just been getting after it, getting after it. Yesterday, we finally got onto some bulls on the river system and some bulls were talking, but they were right on the other side of the river, which isn't in my unit. And even though it came to the water, they have to be on my side of the bank, so we had to just sit there and watch some awesome bulls. And here we are last morning. We've got a couple hours to get out. I'm like, let's just let's just get after it. And came in here, heard a cow call, and started calling. And next thing you know, we just heard crashing and 
breaking and stuff just coming fast. And this is what popped up. I never even got a chance to really see what he was. I saw this, I saw this, and I saw that, and I knew he was three points on one side and he was a legal bull and just made an absolute perfect shot, super tight to the shoulder. He went 75 yards, you can hear him crash and pile up on the camera, but what an awesome, awesome trip here. I'm with two of my best friends, Dusty and Jeremy. We've been getting after it. I mean, getting after it. And it all came down to just enjoying this last day. And I can tell you, we're out of water, we're out of food, we're out of electricity, and we're out of clean clothes. And I think we're out of baby wipes. And we have put in some serious work here and this is such a reward got one more evening before i fly and i think i'm going to spend that evening eating some elk tenderloins i can tell you that yeah buddy <laughs> <laughs> thank you